Hello. Start here, start here. I'm ready. Thank you all for watching this Facebook live session on family welfare and social welfare programs of IGNO. On behalf of IGNO Regional Center Cochin, myself, Dr. Prasita Unnikrishnan, Assistant Director, warmly welcome you all to this Facebook live session on family welfare and social welfare programs of IGNO. This session is part of uh, the promotional initiatives undertaken by Regional Center Cochin for the July 2021 admission cycle and to popularize IGNO programs as far as possible. The main objective of the session is to give you a brief about IGNO and its programs with specific focus on family welfare and social welfare related programs of IGNO being conducted by School of Social Work, IGNO Headquarter, Delhi. As you may know, one of the key uh, one of the key objectives of the National Education Policy 2020 is to increase the gross enrollment ratio to 50% by 2035. Presently, the gross enrollment ratio in higher education is around 27% as per a recent survey in higher education, and this needs to be increased further. The target set by national education policy 2020 can only be achieved if we all come together and work towards the same. In fact, this session is also a small step in this direction. As far as the current pandemic scenario is concerned, the scope of family and social welfare is very much relevant for learners who aspire to gain professional competencies and enable them equipped with adequate soft skills required for the uh, required for those working in the field of family and social welfare in the initial few slides i would be giving a brief about igno and its programs and for the next slides the main focus will be to highlight the programs available in igno in the field of family and social welfare by the end of the session i hope that viewers get a bird's eye view about the family and social welfare programs of IGNO, like MSW, MSW Counseling, Bachelor's Degree in Social Work, Postgraduate Diploma in Counseling, Diploma in HIV, AIDS and Family Education, Certificate Program in Family AIDS and uh, in AIDS, HIV, AIDS and Family Education, and Certificate Program in Tribal Studies. So moving on to the next slide, I would just like to uh, brief you how IGNO helps you. One of the purpose of the session is also to let you know as to how IGNO can help you in fulfilling your dreams, whether it be through enhancing your knowledge and skills and giving a sense of self-enrichment or empowering you to achieve the job of your dreams. Just a minute, I'll just uh, try to move my slides. One minute, one second. Just 
just i will uh, restart my uh, presentation Sorry for the brief uh, disruption. The slides were not moving. So I just moved the slides once again. So I was uh, speaking about uh, how IGNO can help you in fulfilling your dreams, whether it be through enhancing your knowledge uh, and skills and giving a self uh, sense of self-enrichment or empowering you to achieve your dreams. don't know why the slides are not moving it seems just a minute i'll just uh... i hope the presentation is visible to all yes So how uh, IGNO helps us is what I was talking about. Whether it be through enhancing your knowledge and skills and giving a sense of self-enrichment or empowering you to achieve the job of your dreams. The soft skills which are required for a job can be developed by pursuing any program add-on course from IGNO. For example, if you are interested in having a job in the social sector, you can very well enhance your professional competencies by applying for an MSW or MSW counseling from IGNO. The qualifications would not only enrich you professionally, but also provide you skills to perform your job effectively. Now, before I discuss about the programs being offered by School of Social Work in the social and fam uh, family welfare area, let me also uh, give you a brief overview about IGNO. Very recently, in the month of January 2021, IGNO has been accredited with the NAC A++ recognition. And IGNO is a central university which was established in the year 1985 and is one of the largest open university in the world. In fact, uh, the purpose of IGNO is to reaching out to the unreached and taking education to the doorstep of the learners. As per the recent initiatives by the MHRD Government of India and an effort to democratize higher education, IGNO has tried to increase the gross enrollment ratio by offering high quality teaching through open and distance learning mode. As far as the historical perspective of IGNO goes, the university began by offering two academic programs in the year 1987 that is Diploma in Management and Diploma in Distance Education. And today, it serves the educational aspirations of over 3 million students in India through 21 school of studies and a network of 56 regional centers across the country and even abroad. Over the years, IGNO has lived up to the country's expectation of providing education to the marginalized sections of the society. Free of cost education, is being provided 
to all jail inmates across the country and a large number of SCST students have also been given fee exemption for various programs of the universities. Hence, the next question which comes to our mind is, why choose IGNO as our mode of study? have the flexibility in igno we have the flexibility in choosing the courses electives we want to study we also have flexibility with respect to the place pace and duration of the study further our student support centers are spread all across india through over 56 regional centers and around 3000 study centers spread all over india our study materials have been digitized and all the study materials of IGNO are available in the e Kosh link available on the IGNO website www.igno.ac.in. Also, when compared to similar programs which you pursue in regular mode, our programs are very cost effective. We also have a modular approach to our programs wherein you apply, wherein suppose you apply to the MCOM program of IGNO. After first year, you get the degree of PGDIBO, that is Postgraduate Diploma in Business Organization. Hence, when you complete your MCOM program, you have two degrees with you. One is PGDIBO and another is MCOM. Hence, this is the modular approach which uh, I would just like to highlight about IGNO. And additional information which I would also like to highlight here about is, is the Gyan Darshan channel of IGNO, which is also one of the major milestones in the field of educational television in India, wherein 24-hour educational channel offers the best educational programs covering a variety of subjects and catering to a wide range of viewers. Also, the Gyanwani radio channel of IGNO is a network of educational radio channels operating across various cities to address the local educational and developmental needs of the people. Further, we also have the Gyandhara, which is the internet audio-based counseling service offered by IGNO, wherein students can listen to live discussions by experts on the topic of the day and interact with them through telephone, email, through telephone and email and chat mode. So the next slide, which I would just like to highlight is how IGNO supports. Our academic programs are offered through 56 regional centers and we have three regional centers spread across Kerala. That is Cochin, Trivandrum and Vadagara, out of which Cochin is the largest regional center in South India. IGNO Regional Center Cochin was established in the year 1988 and it caters to mainly six districts and one union territory. The six districts are Ernakulam, Trishur, Palakkad, Kottayam, Idiki, Alapura, and the union territory of Lakshadweep. IGNO has, before I come to the slides on uh, programs of social and family welfare, I would just like to brief you all about the IGNO programs which are in offer. Our IGNO programs uh, are mainly in certificate, PG certificate, diploma, PG diploma, degree and postgraduate levels. The details of all these programs, you can refer to our common prospectus July 2021, which is available at http www.igno.ac.in. The brochure of IGNO Regional Center Cochin is also available on the Regional Center Cochin website, https rccochin.igno.ac.in, out of which uh, just I have highlighted some of the prominent programs which are on offer and offered by IGNO, that is the BA programs, BSW, MBA programs, MCA, MSW, MSC, DFSM programs, MSC, CFT programs and some certificate programs like certificate in functional English and certificate program in food and nutrition. 
before I come uh, directly to the programs being offered by School of Social Work, I would just like to highlight a main thing that IGNO admissions are open are are offered in two cycles that is January and July. Presently, the admissions for July 2021 is open, for which the last date is 15th of July 2021. And students can apply either directly through the IGNO website, www.igno.ac.in, or they can apply through our IGNO admission, samarth.edu.in website. So now uh, I come to the programs which are being on offer by the School of Social Work, which is situated at IGNO headquarter, Delhi. In fact, School of Social Work is one of the first schools uh, which was established uh, in the year to, uh, 2007. And uh, it aims at providing quality education in the areas of social work, HIV AIDS, counseling, tribal studies, and family studies by offering programs from certificate to doctoral level. The IGNO Social Work, uh, the IGNO School of Social Work also has the distinction, in fact, of being the first school of social work in the field of open and distance learning. And it is also, uh, it has been indigenously developed uh, by high quality self instructional materials and uses a multimedia approach for imparting social work teaching and training in both English and Hindi. The mission of the School of Social Work is to provide inclusive and quality education in social work across the country and beyond the borders. In fact, the mission of the School of Social Work is to provide quality education through open and distance learning using multi-pronged strategies and services to reach the unreached with an emphasis on social work values and ethics, whereby improving the services in social welfare sectors. The School of Social Work has the main objective to provide human resources aiming to, uh, in fact, to develop human resources, aiming at improving the quality of life of the poorest of the poor. As we all know, there's a growing demand for professionally trained social workers across the country. In the current pandemic situation, they are already facing a crisis for counselors, for professionally trained counselors. Hence, at this point of time, this uh, topic is very much relevant and especially for those students who are uh, looking for professional qualifications or education to equip themselves to meet the demands of the current pandemic scenario, then social work education is a must. Hence, the main objective of School of Social Work is to provide social work education and training based on indigenous knowledge and uniform curriculum across the country. It also has the objective to help the learner acquire professional skills and knowledge and to help the clients to deal with their emotional and psychological problems. It also enables the learner to develop required attitudes which are, request, uh, which are required in understanding the people's problem solving inter interventions. So this was all about the School of Social Work. Uh, now I come to the programs which are being on offer by the School of Social Work. And these are the seven programs uh, which are on offer by School of Social Work. That is the Master of Social Work program, Master of Social Work in Counseling, Bachelor of Social Work program, Postgraduate Diploma in Counseling, Diploma in HIV and Family Education, uh, Certificate in Tribal Studies, and Certificate in HIV and Family education. So these programs by the School of Social Work are very much uh, uh, very much helpful for those interested in the social welfare and family welfare related fields. I would be discussing this, these programs one by one to give you a clear idea about what the programs can, uh, can offer you. First, I come to the Master of Social Work program. Uh, the Master of Social Work program is a program which is, uh, which is mainly for those uh, learners who are interested in having a professional degree in social work. In fact, uh, this program uh, is uh, 
it ha has been in offer in the regular system for quite some long time however in an odl system igno is the first university to offer the master of social work program and the program generally offers an opportunity to learners for higher studies in professional social work besides offering the core courses pertaining to social work curriculum across the globe and india it includes themes in some of the pertinent areas of social work such as globalization migration history of social work in india theory paper on social work practicum and a course on hiv aids which are expected to be highly useful in the present day context the practical components have also been prepared in such a way so that learners get an hands on training to uh, to find suitable placements within and outside the country in fact the program has been updated uh, with it with effect from the january to, uh, 2019 session and the highlights of the revised version include a block placement and internship in practical component and emphasis on social work in african context criminal justice contemporary methods and values of social work and international social work accordingly a student is expected to successfully complete 72 credits which include compulsory courses elective courses as well as field work in fact uh, this program which is being offered by school of social work is considered to be unique and in innovative because uh, it indigenously prepare because it prepares a student professionally uh, to face the uh, face the so, uh, face the fields of ngo and a student who passes out from msw usually gets an employment opportunity mostly in the social sector or even in the corporate sector in the human resources field the medium of instruction of this program is english and hindi the eligibility criteria for this program is bachelor's degree or a higher degree and the duration of this program is minimum duration is 2 years and the maximum duration is 4 years and the fee structure is also mentioned as shown in the presentation now i come to the master of social work in counseling in fact uh, this program was launched uh, uh, very recently and has a good demand and the students are applying in, have a good demand for this program and uh, this program is especially uh, provides professional education and training in the field of counseling which even extends beyond our uh, theoretical knowledge especially in the current pandemic situation if you see this program has a lot of scope because uh, a master many a times when we were doing master of social work a uh, master of social work with a specialization in counseling was uh, mostly emphasized at that point of time so it is uh, it is a privilege for all of us that the school of social work has come out with the master of social work with special focus in counseling and students who are definitely interested in uh, in going to the field of counseling services should take uh, opportunity in doing this program the eligibility criteria for this program is graduation in any discipline from a recognized university and the medium of instruction is english and hindi and the duration is minimum 2 years and maximum 4 years the fee structure is also as mentioned uh, in the screen the next program which i would like to highlight is the post graduate diploma in social work counseling this is similar uh, to the master of social work counseling program but the only difference is this is a one year program and the purpose of the program is to provide a basic idea uh, in professional education in the and training in the field of counseling which is extending beyond the theoretical knowledge and the eligibility right criteria remains the same that is a graduation in any discipline from a recognized university the bachelor of social work program this program is generally uh, for those uh, students who want to uh, provide uh, professional assistance to the people in need normally when students uh, who do bachelor of social work program have a Uh, inherent interest in doing social work and they want to help people in need 
however they don't have the professional competencies on how, on how to go ahead with it hence for those students who are having an inclination towards helping people in need this program would be of great help and this program will uh, will enable you to understand how you can help people in need in a professional way uh, so the bachelor of social work program is basically uh, the eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent and the medium of instruction is english and hindi the minimum duration is uh, three years and you have to complete this program uh, in a maximum duration of six years so after completing this program uh, this program would be especially useful uh, for those people who are employed in middle and lower uh, level in NGOs and uh, uh, for social and developmental agencies in both government and private sector. Next, I come to the Diploma in HIV and Family Education program. Uh, the program provides a basic information about HIV AIDS uh, and uh, sex and sexuality, family life education, alcohol and drug abuse, etc. The program aims to enhance the professional knowledge and skills of functionaries involved in HIV AIDS and related issues. In fact, the program is especially helpful uh, for school teachers, NGO functionaries, paramedicals, and even for adolescents and those interested, and even for a layman who is interested in acquiring knowledge on the relevant subject. So the basic eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent, and the medium of instruction is English and Hindi. The program has a minimum duration of one year and a maximum duration of three years. So uh, this diploma in HIV and family education program can also be taken as an add-on program along with the learners who are existingly uh, who are pursuing graduation or PG uh, presently. So this program is specifically uh, for the learners or can be taken as an add-on program along with the existing program which uh, the learners are presently pursuing. Next, uh, we come to the certificate in HIV uh, uh, and family education program that is the CAFE program. The program imparts uh, an integrated understanding to the learners about the issues involved in HIV AIDS and behavior modification and uh, the eligibility criteria for this program is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent and the medium of instruction is English and Hindi. The duration is minimum six months since it's a, it's a certificate program, the, you, you can complete it within six months and the maximum duration is two years. So the certificate program can also be taken as an add-on program along with your existing program. So these are some of the programs in family and social welfare being offered by the School of Social Works for which the students who are interested can apply. And uh, I would just again reiterate how one can apply for the IGNO programs. They, you can visit http igno .in and or, or you can directly visit our main IGNO website www.igno.ac.in. You can go to the register online and click on fresh admission and apply for the said IGNO programs. The given uh, is the screenshot on how a student can apply to IGNO. This is the main IGNO website. From the right hand side, third option, if you click on register online, uh, you can uh, click on the third uh, option that is a fresh admission. And once you click on fresh admission, you can apply to the programs of IGNO. This is a screenshot of the igno admission.samarth.edu dot in portal uh, wherein the last date of admissions is given as 15th of july 2021 the detailed instructions on how you can apply to igno is also given uh, it is requested that learners should be ready with their scanned copy of their certificates their passport size scanned copy of their photograph and the scanned copy of their signatures so that they can uh, apply to igno no 
conveniently through this portal. Uh, it's just like applying uh, when you create a new email ID, the details how you enter, it's very similar to that way wherein you have to create your username and password. And once you create your username and password, you can apply to any program of IGNO through the IGNO admission .samarth portal. On the same portal, a detailed information about the available programs on the IGNO portal is also given. If uh, For the students who are interested, they can click on the program of their interest and they can know the eligibility criteria, the fee structure, the number of subjects which uh, they, uh, they have to study under the said program. All can be understood by clicking on the uh, on the screen uh, on the programs on offer. Very convenient way instead of uh, downloading the common prospectus, you can also know about the programs on the igno admission .samarth portal. Uh, this is something about the minimum and maximum duration. Like all certificate programs of igno have a minimum duration of six months and a maximum duration of two years. And diploma programs have a minimum uh, duration of one year and maximum of two years. And a bachelor's degree program has a minimum duration of three years and a maximum duration of six years. And a master's degree program has a minimum duration of two years and a maximum duration of four years. So once again, uh, through this presentation, I have discussed about the programs on offer by the School of Social Work, IGNO Headquartered Delhi. Uh, the following seven programs have been highlighted uh, through my session and that is the Master of Social Work, Master of Social Work in Counseling, Bachelor of Social Work, Postgraduate Diploma in Counseling, Diploma in HIV and Family Education, Certificate in Tribal Studies and Certificate in HIV and Family Education. So these are the, uh, uh, these are the programs which our students who are interested in family and uh, family and social welfare sector can definitely uh, try uh, to enhance their professional competencies and also to get, enrich their knowledge about social work and related fields uh, that is the HIV and family education and even uh, the tribal studies. So uh, this is the uh, IGNO Regional Center Cochin's basic information, which I thought would be useful to our IGNO learners. Uh, the Facebook, uh, we have our own Facebook page uh, through which the session is being uh, broadcasted live. That is www.facebook.com IGNO Regional Center Cochin. We also have a Twitter account, uh, https twitter.com slash IGNO RC Cochin. Uh, we also have our email ID that is rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in. Uh, we also have our own YouTube channel that is https www.youtube.com uh, slash igno regional center coaching. Uh, the main igno website these, uh, that is www.igno.ac.in and the regional center coaching website. Uh, that is http rccochin.igno.ac.in and the link for the online admissions uh, for the july 2021 session is presently open and the last date is 15th of july 2021 and the link is given as https igno admission uh, and uh, you can also log in to our igno website www.igno.ac.in and the last, uh, uh, you can also, in case you have any queries uh, with respect to the session or uh, uh, with respect to any of the programs you want to pursue from IGNO, please uh, feel free to contact us at rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in. And uh, so uh, with a f uh, I believe that with a firm belief in yourself uh, and in your capacities, uh, I believe that let IGNO be part of your journey towards success and life enrichment. And with these words, uh, I thank you all uh, for patiently uh, listening to me in this live session. In case you have any queries with respect to the session or any of the programs uh, uh, you want to enroll with IGNO, 
please uh, feel free to write your queries in your chat box and we would respond to the same or you may also write to us at uh, rc coach uh, at rc coaching at the rate igno.ac.in so thank you all once again for patiently listening to me in this facebook live session and we will continue this series with a, a few with a more li facebook live sessions and thank you all for the encouragement and support provided thank you